Hey guys, what's up? Path to TCGs here, and today I have another one of these unboxings. I really enjoy opening these just to kind of see what the surprise is. I feel like one day I might end up hitting not an EDH deck, but I guess we'll get to see if today's a day. Um, this one also came from my Walmart, and it comes with a uh, Battle for Zendikar Car Pack and a Journey to Next Empty. Yeah. Alright, let's get this open to see what we have this time. The moment of truth. Look for a fit. <gasps> no freaking way. Oh my gosh. This is a Teferi one. The one that I don't have and have been cheaping out to buy. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that means like all the Commander 2014 packs are in one of these. It feels like there's some empty space as if it's been opened, but I'm not really sure. Hopefully not. We'll see. That would actually kind of suck. All right. Well, we have Tafiri, some tokens, Fish and Whale and Kraken tokens. And zombies and green apes and blue zombies. We have a lot of blue basic lands. All right, all right. Glad to see that this is still intact. Let's get started. So, other than the tokens of basic lands, we have Teferi Temporal Archmage. Um, it allows you to plus one look at the top. Two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into the bottom of your library. Minus one, untap up to four target permanents, so that could be your lands too. That's pretty awesome. And minus ten, you get an emblem with. You may activate loyalty abilities on planeswalkers you control on any planeswalker or on any player's turn anytime you could cast an instant. This is awesome with doubling season because right after you, um, Put them on the field with doubling season on the field. It automatically comes in with 10 loyalty counters. You can automatically minus 10 them. And I don't think you need them for anything else. Yeah. Alright, we have Stitcher's Draw. Put him back there. Right there. Um, Lore Close to Tidemaker. Dual Set Sirens. Reform. Ixadron, Storm Surge Kraken, Frost Titan, Sphinx of Dwar Isle, Sphinx of Magosi, Phyrexian Ingester, Sphinx of Uthun, Hoverguard Sweepers, Breaching Leviathan, Deep Sea Kraken, Infinite Reflection, Well of Ideas, Cyclonic Rift, awesome, Crackling Counterpart, Domineering Will, Intellectual Offering, Stroke of Genius, Rite of Replication, Aether Gale, Aether Gale, Distorting Wake, Steel Hellkite, Sapphire Medallion, Crown of Doom, Nevenero's Disc, Crawl Atoll, Ghost Quarter, Lonely Sandbar, Myriad Landscape, Remote Isle, Tectonic Edge, Zoetic Cavern, Azur H, Fathom Seer, Fog Bank, Willbender, Riptide Survivor, Seagate Oracle, Shaper Parasite, Mold Drifter, Awesome, Brian Elemental, Fool's Demise, Pogify, Into the Royal, Turn the Frog, Exclude, Dismiss, Call to Mind, Compulsive Research, Concentrate, Rush of Knowledge, Artisan of Kozlik, Everflowing Chalice, Tormod's Crypt, Soul Ring, Mindstone, Sky Diamond, Swift Foot Boots, Commander Sphere, Unstable Obelisk, Worn Power Stone, Salt Suit, Thran Dynamo, Earth Golemi, and we have a Dreamstone Hedron. All right, that is a pretty sweet deck. 
mainly for the Temporal Archmage. I am pretty excited about this. Let's crack into Journey into Nyx and battle for Zendikar as the last pack. What is good in Journey into Nyx? Is Master of Waves in this? Or was it just nothing good? Alright, first we have Countermand, Pensive Minotaur, Airment of Nyx, Font of Fertility, Rotted Hulk, Stonewise Frontier, Triton Shorestalker, Renoir Weaver, Blade Tusk Spore, we are in our Uncommon, Riddle of the Lightning, Felhide Petrifier, Riptide Chimera, and our rare is Aegis of the Gods. Alright, oh, and we also hit a foil. Neonin, Icolon class, not sure, but it's pretty cool. We've been hitting foils in these packs for every one of the Journey and Nyx packs, I believe, so far. And now we have Battle for Zendikar. Spoiler, last time we pulled up Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. Let's see if we can pull anything awesome this time. We have Voracious Null, Orin Refit Invoker, Tandem Tactics, Shatter Skull Recruit, Silent Skimmer, Rush of Ice, Natural Connection, Unnatural Aggression, Geyser Field Stalker. Alright, uncommons. We have Scythe Leopard, Carrier Thrall, Wind Rider Patrol, and our rare is Lumbering Falls. Alright! We hit uh, one of the Dual Lands, Man Lands? I believe this is a Man Land. And we have a Foil Lithomancer's Focus. And full art planes and a Kiora token. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Well, like I said in other videos, these seem to be worth it for me, um, mainly just because it comes with two packs. And since I've been pulling all of these um, commander decks, it makes it worth it because the Fury itself is like 14 or 15 bucks. And those are the rares that we pulled. Alright guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully I can get more of these EDH decks later on. Um, please let me know if you guys would like to continue seeing more of these. Please remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoyed it. And um, if you would like to stay updated with these videos, remember there's like a little subscription bell thing. Notification turn on, on thing. I don't know what it's called. But... Please remember to click that um, so that you can see each and every one of my new videos. And I'll see you guys next time.